And prayer has to be the foundation for spirituality. When I say God is the root, you have no access to the root without communion. And you have no communion without prayer. So prayer is the bedrock of spirituality. It's one of the bedrocks of spirituality. That's why prayer can be the anchoring force that keeps a man from being in the world but not of the world. So when the word of God says that <clears throat> you're in the world but you're not of the world, right? Prayer is one of the anchoring forces that keeps you in the world but not of the world. Or let me change that so to make sure I'm saying that right. Prayer is one of the anchoring forces that allows you to be in the world but not of the world. You understand? It's like an ocean. You know, it's full of salt water. Bitter, savory, and unpleasant. But it's still beautiful. Beautiful to behold, but to the taste it's bitter. It's savory and has no function. That's you and I existing in the world. But through prayer, the sun causes us to ascend out of the water just like evaporation and we ascend into the spiritual realms high into the clouds and then God loosens us back into the earth and we're purified like rain with sweet savor and then we're back in the world again but prayer is the one that allows us to be washed and renewed and cleansed and ascend into the spiritual heights of the heavens where we could be amongst him amongst the clouds amongst the realms of his glory amongst the realms of his light the son of righteousness is what draws us up from the world. But he doesn't keep us. He sends us back. But he sends us back purified, full of light, full of savor. And savor in a beautiful way. Not savor like salt water. Savor like rain water. You can stand outside when it's raining and open up your mouth. It's the best tasting rain ever. But if you open up your mouth in the sea, you want to get that water out of you as quick as possible. That's a man in the world who has not no life of prayer. The man in the world who has no life of prayer is no better than the salt water. But the man in the world who has a life of prayer is like fresh rainwater into the world. Bringing purity, bringing savor, bringing taste. Because he has ascended into the high realms of the spirit and God can send him back. That's the life of prayer. That's the life of prayer. That's the bedrock of prayer. That's why prayer is so personal to me. Because he says... Father, I've kept them. I'm not lost none that you've given me. I understand that he keeps me, but I can also leave him. And this world will capture your heart and your gaze. This world will capture your heart and your gaze if prayer is not the bedrock. Because prayer is the thing that allows you to be drawn out of this world, purified into the higher heavens, and to come back pure. And that process just continues and just continues and just continues. Like Jesus said, hey, you don't have to wash your body because you've already been cleansed, but you do need to clean your feet. Which means he understood that as we live this journey amongst the world, things will be on us, but we have the ability to purify ourselves. If any man has this hope, he purifies himself. Yeah. Right? If any man has this hope, he purifies himself. The purification happens before God, but you have to bring yourself before him. And you only bring before yourself before him through the ministry of prayer through the communion of prayer. Mm 